For the longest time, I always thought that vegetables were for sissies. And I still do. And therefore, I hated them. And just to be clear how much I hate them, this is recovered surveillance cam footage of me being presented with a plate of vegetables. We've gone through a few surveillance cameras that way. But recently, I've decided to, you know, try to expand my horizons a little bit, open my uh, world view a tad. So I decided to try every single vegetable in my house. Because I'm not going to go out to the store and get vegetables. I'm not a monster. And uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. So uh, I hope you enjoy. And remember, you're obligated to subscribe because you clicked on this video contractually. It's kind of out of my control. I'm, I'm sorry, but you have to do it if you don't want the whole like IRS on you. It's a whole thing. So enjoy. The first veggie we have <laughs> is this red pepper. I wouldn't eat this if I didn't have to. This is okay. It's a little sweet. I think I'm going to throw this at right now a B. All right, next we have celery. And I've always hated celery. It's like a symphony flowing through my mouth. And in eating this, I'm realizing that I did forget to add a row below. Simple. This is nasty. This is rabbit food. It tastes disgusting. Maybe I've heard people like it with peanut butter and like raisins, like ants on a log. Which, to be honest, also sounds pretty nasty to me. Honestly, because of that, I'll move the uh, yellow peppers up to an A. That's pretty gross. Next, we have the plain, simple Bugs Bunny carrot. So I'm gonna have to eat it like him. What's up, Doc? This is good. The texture is pretty good. It has a nice juice. That is the benchmark for all vegetables from now on. And because of that, I'm moving the yellow peppers down to a B. Now we have lettuce. Ooh, more rabbit food. This is literally just grass. Cheers. Okay. It's way better than celery. But that's like obvious because celery is so nasty. So I'm gonna add a row below E. Because it's worse than yellow pepper, but it's better than celery by a lot. So I think it's right in the middle of those two. Next we have orange pepper, uh, which I do not have high hopes for given the yellow pepper. So let's give it a go. And I was right, very right. This is a little bit worse than yellow pepper. It was a little better than lettuce though. I will put it above lettuce, but it's got a weird flavor. It's the thing your mom would serve to you and you'd hate it. <laughs> Which, to be honest, is a lot of vegetables. If I get uh, orange pepper, I instantly try to find something else. I I'll make a deal with the devil at that point. I'm like, is there anything else I can eat? That being said, I prefer that over pure lettuce, and I definitely prefer that over celery. We just don't ever have celery in my household, which is, uh, <sighs> saved. And next we have potatoes. And uh, this image shows, like, chunks of tomato, but all I have are these baked potatoes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of those. It's pretty mid. <laughs> People love baked potatoes. It's probably because it was A, cold, B, without ketchup, and C, not in the context of anything else, along with D being a little bit soggy, a little softer than it should have been. So I'm going to throw that um, right next to low. Okay, I've had baked potatoes before, and I like them. So I think because of that, I'm going to throw them in front of orange peppers. All right, boys, next we have red tomato, which is ironically the same color as the subscribe button. Whoa, what a coincidence. It, actually, you know what? I'm only going to eat this if you hit the subscribe button. So, go on. I'm waiting. Scroll down. You did it? Great. Like, why are you even buying peppers? This is so easily a C. It's above... No, it's actually below lettuce. Like, what, do you, what could you possibly get out of peppers besides health? Health. Health is literally just a conspiracy theory. There's no evidence that health is actually a thing or that it works. What possible reason could you have for eating that? Next, we have a cherry tomato, um, which... I like cherry tomatoes on a lot of things. I like tomatoes in sandwiches. I like it on um, on cream cheese and English muffin, which is actually really good. You should try it sometime. Put some pepper on top. It's delicious. I like it in pizza, obviously. But I don't like plain cherry tomatoes. I'm not the kind of person who pops them in for pleasure. So I'm going to eat this begrudgingly. That's really foul. It's so juicy. I bite into it and I die inside. I hated that. Like, obviously I've had tomatoes before and I really like them. Like I said, I like them in things. But that pure tomato was honestly worse. Than, I'd rather have celery than another one of those. Like I hate celery, but if you give me a stick of celery and 10 uh, cherry tomatoes, I need the celery first. All right, boys, now finally for my favorite vegetable of all, bacon. It's bacon time, everybody. Any baconers in the chat? Any Baconers? I will say, I've been looking forward to this this whole tier list. I know uh, bacon is considered really good for you by a lot of health experts. I know from experience, because I have had bacon. Sorry, I, I know this I know this video said uh, never before eaten vegetables or whatever. 
but I have had bacon. Hmm. Which is why I know that it's simply delicious. Called bacon. If you disagree with this, then I'm dying of fire. And if seeing this instrument of fun and enjoyment and games brought you back to your childhood, then that probably means that you like this video a lot. Like, a lot. So check it out right now. Like, right now. I don't know what you're still here for.